everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing my February favourites video. I can't even believe I'm saying that it's February favourites. The month just went so, so quickly. I'm really sorry that this video is up a little bit late. The internet in my house was down all week and the repairman only came out on Friday, I think. So literally today is the earliest I could film and upload it for you guys. So I'm going to start off first with a hair care product. And the product that I'm going to be talking about is the Charles Worthington Strength and Repair Heat Defense Spray, which is this one here. Um, I use this on my hair every time I wash my hair, obviously, <laughs> and basically it's just a really nice lightweight um, heat defense spray that I just pop in throughout my hair. I just spray loads of it on all my lengths and ends and it just protects my hair when I'm straightening it. Doesn't feel heavy, doesn't make my hair feeling greasy. Um, I'm really really enjoying using this so I would definitely recommend this if you're after a heat defense spray that's sort of lightweight and not too heavy. I love that. The next product I'm going to be talking about is a makeup item and it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now and it's two colours and one of my friends actually inspired me to get these two because she wore it at work and it looks beautiful and it's the MAC Boldly Bear Lip Pencil and it's just like a really nice peachy kind of nudey kind of colour but it's it still defines the lips I'm just gonna swatch it for you and then I've also got a lipstick which is the MAC again cream sheen texture and it's called Pure Zen which is this colour here so again a really nice light peachy kind of colour I'm gonna swatch them both on my hand next to each other so you can see them I just want to apologise about my bad fake tan on my hands as well um, I lost my glove when I was doing my fake tanning and I was like oh screw it I'll just do it with my hands and then I was like oh my god <laughs> scrubbing away at my hands and it's still really bad so I've just been using lemon juice so I think hopefully by this evening it should be out so I'm just gonna show you that so they just look really nice together as well and what, what I tend to do is I just tend to blend it in over the lip liner so you'll see now the difference so it just has a slight darkness to it without it being too dark because I don't like it when my lip line is so dark that you can really, really see it. So I really like these two if you want a nudish, peachy kind of colour and I really love MAC products anyway. I think that they're really good value for money. They stay on really well and it's sort of just really nice products to buy for yourself if you want to cheer yourself up or anything like that. So I really like those. I've got another hair care item here. Now I have... Um, getting a bit personal now but I have an underactive thyroid so basically my scalp can get really really dry and itchy and flaky really glamorous I know um, and every time I went for a blow dry my hairdresser would be like your hair your, your scalp's so red and like does it hurt and I was just like but it doesn't hurt like sometimes it gets a bit itchy but that's about it I don't know whether that's to do with the underactive thyroid but I know my hair can get a little bit drier because of that and it falls out a little bit when I brush it luckily my hair is quite thick anyway so it doesn't it's not thin or anything luckily but um, it does get a bit annoying so basically long story short my hairdresser recommended these drops from Kerastase and these are the Sensodote Dermacalm intense scalp soothing serum so what I do is when I've washed my hair I will apply my heat defense spray all over and then in the roots of my hair so like I'll like lift sections up and I will just pop pumps randomly all over my scalp and then I'll massage it in and it feels so good it's so cooling as well it's like it's cold but it's not really cold and horrible it's just like really nice and calming and I actually have found that my scalp is much less red it feels nicer at the roots like when I touch it it doesn't feel dry or like flaky like I know it's really gross saying that but if you any of you guys like, suffer from the same thing that I have you need to go and buy these right now because they are so so good so I'm really happy that I got these and I can see that this bottle would last me for quite a long time it's got it's 50 mil I mean I don't see how this wouldn't last me about six months because they are a little bit sort of does go a long way so I'm happy with those so I was doing my makeup the other day and I started using this product and I thought to myself oh my god why am I not going to include black plum so black plum is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow 
Okay, as soon as you finish watching this video, you need to promise me that you'll go on the Bobbi Brown website and you will order this eyeshadow because, oh my God, it is the best eyeshadow ever. I've been using it for about a year and for some reason I don't really talk about it that much, but it's the only thing I will do a smoky eye with. I will not use a black on my eye. This is literally my go-to product if you want like a darker eyeshadow, if you want to use it as a liner. It's so creamy, it goes on really well. Oh my God, <laughs> I could talk about this all day. And Black Plum is this one here. So I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. It's so intense, literally, like I can't even begin to tell you. That's it there, can you see that? So it's like a plum, obviously. It's got a little bit of brown in it, a little bit of purple, but it's so rich. It really, really makes the eyes stand out, makes the eye color stand out. It goes on amazingly, it blends amazingly. And I've just got mine in my Bobbi Brown palette. I need to, I need to fill it up with a couple more. Um, but I would not be without this eyeshadow. And if you like using a smoky eye, or if you like sort of like making it darker on the outside, or if you like using an eye, um, an eyeshadow as an eyeliner, you have to go and buy this, or at least go onto Google and like Google swatches of it or something, because that wasn't an amazing swatch that I just did. So yeah, I'm. I might even order another one as like an emergency backup because it's so good. I have to have it on me at all times. So I love so I've that. I've got another product here and this is a product that I've wanted to get for a very, very long time. The reason why I didn't was because it was quite expensive and I just sort of, at the time, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get it or not. So the product that I'm talking about is the Therapy Himalayan Detox Bath Salts which is this one here. So basically, these are absolutely amazing. If you like baths and you love sleep, or if you struggle to get to sleep, anything like that, you need to buy these. These are 35 pounds, so they are very, very expensive. But, I mean, you get 400 grams in here, and it's quite big, and I can see this lasting me quite a long time, but they, they don't, they smell nice, they don't really, they're quite strong and they're very, I don't even know what they smell like. Oh my god, I can just, they are really, really lovely. I mean, if I show you what they look like inside, can you see? So they're just sort of loose salts and what I do is I get a handful of these, like a generous handful, and put it in my bath. So whenever I use these, um, I don't use my, it, they advise you not to use any electronic equipment, so I don't use my phone, I literally switch my phone off, um, sort of two hours before you have a bath, and then I'll get in the bath, and just sort of soak in them. When they're in the bath, that nothing, you don't feel anything, like nothing really happens, and, and wrap yourself in a towel, and then I, what, what I do is I just go and lie down in like my dressing gown on my bed for half an hour, so it says to rest for 30 minutes, so I just sort of lie there, and I fall asleep or I read a magazine or something and then after that it's so weird like you feel this hot sensation it's kind of like a day at the beach so you don't feel like you're burning it's not like a horrible sensation and then suddenly you just feel like so sluggish so sleepy and you will have the best night's sleep of your life so I tend to use these um if I've had a long week or on my days off, I wouldn't use these on a weekday, sort of like if I've got work the next day, because I do tend to sleep in longer when I have used them. You won't remember anything. Like when I woke up the next day, I was like, I don't even remember what I dreamt about. Like it's absolutely crazy how these work. It's like taking night nurse, but it's obviously much better for you because it's just natural ingredients and everything. So if you do struggle to sleep, I would highly, highly, highly recommend these. I would repurchase them definitely, but they are very, very pricey. So, you know, I don't even, I don't think they do samples of them, but if you do manage to get a sample of them, that'd be amazing. So yeah, I really, really love these and I can't wait to use them again soon. So um, I've been using an Origins eye cream and I can't remember what the one was called but it was in a pot and it was in a green a green pot and it, I, I was getting on really well with it, I really liked it but what I hated about it was it was in a pot and I had to like scoop my finger in and it and then or like I'd use a cotton bud and it was just really messy and really really annoying and awkward to use. So when that ran out I said to myself no more pots now, I need to find a better applicator for it. And so I went into my local space and cave the Covent Garden 
garden one that I'm always going on about. And I went in there and I said to her, I really need a new, a new eye cream. Like, is there anything that you'd recommend? And she actually told me that the Sarah Chapman Eye Recovery was her favourite one. And I've been using this throughout February and I must say that it is brilliant. Like, it's so it's got... The pump applicator which is amazing you only need a tiny amount of this um, again this is quite expensive it's about 35 pounds I have noticed a difference um, under my eyes especially with dark circles and dryness um, I have found that that has gradually gone down a lot more um, it is only 15 mil so um, the only thing I would say is you can't see when it's going to run out so I just I don't really know when this is going to run out I, I think I've got quite a lot left still but I use this every morning and every night apply it with your ring fingers because it's slightly lighter than using say like your thumb or forefinger and I use, apply it around the bone of the eye and all the way around with my ring finger um, when you apply eye cream as well, literally just around the bone of the eye, you don't need to go all the way up into like into the eye because what will happen is it will make your eyes water, it will make them puffy, it will make them sore. So you're better off just applying it around the bone of the eye because what will happen is the eye cream will sink in and it will travel up into the eye area, which is where you want it to go. So I am really liking this actually. It doesn't feel heavy on my eyes um, and it sinks in very, very quickly and I would definitely get this again because I have noticed a difference compared to the other one that I was using I will try and find out what that one was it was nice but it didn't really do that much for me I guess it would probably be better if you're like in your teens or something and you want to start using an eye cream then that would be a good one to use but there was another one that I tried from Origins which I really like called Ginseng 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 or Ginseng I, I can't remember but I felt like that did a bit more than the one that I was using. I think the one I was using was called Eye Doctor. And I actually felt that Ginseng was a bit better. So if you do like Origins, I would definitely recommend the Ginseng Eye Cream, which is in the orange pot. I just wish it wouldn't be in a pot. That's the only thing. So yeah, so I've got another makeup item for you here. And I absolutely love these. These came out, um, how long ago did they come out? about six months ago at MAC and they've been really popular since and these are the pressed pigments so basically the pigments, the normal ones, are the loose ones in the little pots and they do glitters, they do sort of like frosted kind of colours, they do loads and loads and loads of them but these are basically pressed versions of them these are all really sparkly which is amazing because they just look so pretty on the eyes what I like to do is I like to just like get a little bit on my, get a little bit of it on a flat brush and just pop it into the centre of the eye and it just makes your eyes pop, it's just really nice if you're going out at night and you want to change your makeup up, so like if you're in the office and you're going out and you know, you want to change it up a bit, just keep one of these on you, pop it on, pop a bit of red lipstick on and you're sorted, literally, these are amazing, they're very pigmented, they don't spill everywhere, the thing is, is I really like glitters, I really do, but they're a bit of a nightmare to put on and you need to get a special glue to put them on with and then they spill halfway down your face and it's just really, really messy. So these are amazing and they come in loads of different colours but these two are my favourite. This one's Day Gleam. This is a really nice gold, shimmery, obviously, kind of colour. I'm going to swatch it so you can see. They're just really nice. Just get a little bit there. I still haven't mastered this technique, unfortunately. Here, can you see? It's just super sparkly, super pretty, really, really easy to apply, and I love these. And then the other one that I've got is called Black Grape. So I'm just gonna swatch that one now as well. Oh my, this is my favorite. Only because I really like purples and plummy kind of colors on my eyes because it makes them pop a little bit more. So that's the other one. It's just so nice. Look at it sparkly. So yeah, just apply it with a flat brush and press it into the center of the eye. You can also use Fix Plus Spray. 
um, you can use that on a you can wet your brush and then apply it in and that will make it a little bit more pigmented and stand out a little bit more but you don't have to use the Vix Plus spray you know or water um, they are just as good on their own as well so yeah that is my finished February favourites video oh that was a bit of a tongue twister I can't believe we're even in like March now I keep meaning to say February but we're in March and this year is just going so so quickly but I'm really happy because the weather outside today is super super nice and sunny it's really bright you know it's starting to feel a bit more warm now and I'm just I can't wait for spring and stuff like that I went into um chop shop the other day and like they've got all these really nice pastel -y kind of colors in and Zara as well had a really nice peach coat that I saw and yeah I'm just really really looking forward to spring so so yeah and I just want to say as well um again I'm really sorry that this video went up so late because I'm, I do normally put them up sort of like Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, um, but because I work different days, like different shifts each week, it literally depends on what, what days I'm off on and it just so happened that I was only off on Saturday and then we had the internet down and it was just a bit of a nightmare so I'm really, really sorry that it's late and I just want to say as well, um, so many of you guys have been commenting on my videos and like sort of giving me really nice messages of support and stuff like that and you know your comments just mean so much to me and I can't believe how many of you are like subscribing to my channel like I literally just started this off just to you know as for like a fun thing to do and I can't believe that people are even subscribing to me so I am really happy and I hope you guys are enjoying my videos as much as I'm enjoying making them so I hope you guys have a really good weekend and I will see you early next week for another video take care